From August 1, which is Sunday, it will be illegal for anybody to hunt, capture or destroy any wild animal except grass cutter, which can be done only under license issued by the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission. This is because of the ban on hunting. The close season is to regulate the utilization and curbing of the decline of wildlife resources in Ghana and ensuring sustainable use of the resource. Uh, let's get more on this. And uh, joining me via Zoom is Ernestina Edumia Ani. She's Public Relations Manager at the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission. Um, I'm grateful for your time. Why has the ban become necessary? Kindly unmute. Thank you very much. Uh, before I go on to the Thank you very much. Um, before I go on to the ban, I want to... Um, Say good afternoon to all your listeners and uh, all the Forestry Commission staff. Executive Director, Mr. Samuel Watson. Yes, we have uh, the ban, which will take effect from 1st August to 1st December of this year, 2021. And the reason why we are actually regulating these animals is that they have a lot of importance for Ghana as a country. So the law is to regulate the population and decline all the uh, that affect this animal uh, to decline. So we are actually um, uh, taking effects of this law from 1st August to 1st December 2021 to ensure that these animals actually uh, populate so that it can help us in various areas of the socio-economic development of the country. Now, how do we intend to go about this? Because uh, it looks like a tough one. Yes, um, we actually are intending to go about it by enforcing the law. And the Wildlife Division enforcing the law collaborates with everybody in the country. Actually, our mandate is to collaborate with everybody in the country to ensure that um, we optimize these wildlife animals for the socioeconomic benefits of the country. So it's a collaboration between wildlife, the general public, and uh, the, the security agencies, and all stakeholders to ensure that these animals are protected and conserved and manage so that they will be regularized and also populate so that we can get other uh, means of importance from these animals. Actually, the animals are our culture, they are our heritage, and we have to conserve them for the future generation. And there are a lot of uh, um, um, important um, importance that these animals give to us. One is the ecotourism. You know, ecotourism, uh, has been, it's been in Kenya, Zambia, um, it's been in South Africa, and it's given them a lot of money actually to develop their country. So if we're able to regularize this animal, what happens is that we will get a lot of revenue from ecotourism, from art and craft, from clothing and textiles, from, from food. Actually, restaurants also use these animals. So in order to sustain these animals for our culture and heritage, we need to uh, actually um, um, observe this wildlife law to ensure that. Now, so we're talking about enforcement. Definitely, we need to talk about sanctions. Uh, what sanctions do apply to people who are likely to uh, flout this uh, rule? Yes, um, the sanction is that um, usually when these um, um, uh, uh, those who are go against the law are arrested. They are taken to the police station. And in the police station, they are actually are going to gather your information and then send you to court. So when you go to court, the judge will be the one to judge accordingly as to what, um, what you find to give to whoever went against the law. So when you go to court, it is the judge, the counts of the judge, that is going to actually accumulate to give you the fine. And sometimes you go to prison. So it's either the fine or you are in prison or both. So that is how it is. And it depends on the judge, usually. 
I'm grateful for her time. Ernestina Adumia Anishi is PRO of the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission. I'm grateful for your time this afternoon.